everyone. Um, we are the Coffee Hackers team from Arca Labs Brisbane. It's Alex, um, myself, and Francois. We design program analysis for finding security vulnerabilities every day. For this hackathon, we have designed an intrusion detection system, and we use the matrix as one of the suggested platforms for this hackathon. Um, for finding intrusion detection vulnerabilities, we have used the Ancumet, which is a clinic um, record application. We have set it up in the uh, Oracle's application container services. Um, what we do is um, we find vulnerabilities um, and uh, using our intrusion detection system, and uh, we uh, use the Matrix SDK for distributing the alerts. Um, that we get using this intrusion detection system. Um, and they, these alerts will be sent to security analysts. The security analyst can then go to a visualization tool like Oracle Analytics to actually get more information about the attacks. So the Ancumet record that you're seeing here uh, is actually an application where you can um, create records for patients and get queries um, for a particular patient, and the expected behavior is that you get information of a patient for a particular patient based on, for example, email or mobile number. But this application has a vulnerability, a database vulnerability, which um, allows the attackers to get all information from for all the patients. Uh, our intrusion detection system can detect this vulnerability here. You can see that we are simulating the attacks, the payloads that attackers can actually craft to exploit this vulnerability, and the, all the information for all patients will be sent to them. But our intrusion system is actually um, using the <coughs> uh, matrix SDK for distributing these alerts, and these are now actually sent to Riot, which is a client for matrix. And so, um, as Ben has ju just said, so we have this client that's uh, sending attack payloads to uh, the medical records. So we have an attacker actively trying to pull medical records out, out of the system. Uh, and the intrusion detection system, every time the attacker tries to do that, is basically publishing an alert on uh, the Riot client uh, that is basically pulling information from uh, the Matrix platform. So uh, hopefully, uh, Alex, are you still running the, the PUC? Okay, cool. So we, we see some alerts uh, popping up on uh, the Riot client in real time because this is the intrusion detection system basically blocking all the attacks and, and reporting them. And all of those uh, notifications are actually pushed on uh, the Matrix platform and they are also coming to Benaz's phone as we speak. And so if she was the security analyst, then uh, we, we can assume that, for example, that even if it's in the middle of the night, she would get the, uh, she would get the alerts and then she can actually wake up and take action to uh, stop, uh, stop the attacker from, from doing this. In parallel, we also have another system that's built uh, using the uh, Matrix SDK that instead of pushing alerts, is actually pulling messages out of the Matrix platform and then feeding those uh, alerts into uh, the Oracle data visualization platform. So what we discovered during the, attack, the hackathon is that the matrix um, messages can actually carry a bit more information than what is displayed, and so we use those fields to uh, add more information like the IP addresses, the path in the application, the timestamp uh, at which the attack was generated, and we pull all of this into the uh, data visualization platform, and so now I think is going to load the latest data into the system. Um, yep. Great. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we are now actively pulling uh, the latest attacks into the system. And so all the bars here represent a different uh, intrusion trial. The height of the bar represents the severity of, of the attack. And the color represents uh, the IP. So we didn't have enough time to map the IPs on the world map. But then you can imagine that we could basically display where the attacks are coming from uh, in real time. And so this is what we had uh, time to do during this, this hackathon. And so we try to package as many technologies together as possible through, uh, all connected through the Matrix uh, platform. Thanks. Mark. Uh, three of us. So Francois Benaz and Alex.
Mm, no, so um, before the weekend, what we actually did was to familiar, familiarize ourselves with the Enkimed application that was already built. We didn't build that one. So we, we familiarized ourselves with this application. But uh, the Matrix SDK, we didn't know anything about it before uh, Saturday. Um, and then what we did during the weekend was to augment the application with the intrusion detection system. This is what we do at Oracle Labs in, in right. Brisbane. So this was the easy part for us. And then figuring out how to connect all of this together. Cool. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Oh, you had a question there, Lloyd. OK, sure. Okay. Don't take too long. <laughs> all right, OK. So well done, guys. That's, uh, that's brilliant. Um, so what was the hardest part of um, the hack? Was it the human side of things, uh, trying to get the ideas, or is it the technical side of things? I think, um, I think both. Um, first, uh, it makes it easier for, for example, a security analyst who, as we explained in the story, like is on call and gets alerts using the Matrix platform. But also, um, putting all these techniques together with, um, makes it um, more um, user-friendly and like, more e easier for the security analyst to understand what's going on. Um, not going through like, lots of logs, um, I don't know, having lots of false positives. Um, and so if I can complete, uh, uh, I think that initially the, the most difficult part for us was to come up with a real world scenario because we come from our little research ivory tower and so we're not really uh, doing that kind of stuff usually. And so coming up with the scenario, I think that was probably um, a difficult part for us. The, the technical side of things, we're used to it. But really putting it in, in context, that, that's something we're not really used to. All right, thanks guys. guys. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, did you have a question? Did you have a question? Uh, Thanks very much, Jason. You're welcome. But what type of things did you have to put together in, in terms of skills that you didn't have going into the weekend uh, versus what you've now just done? Or you're well, entirely capable to start? Yes, so <laughs> I think getting familiar with different products that Oracle has was the first thing. Like Oracle Application Container Service was really new for us. Um, the Oracle visualization and also the metrics platform, everything was new. The only bit that was um, a bit easier for us was the intrusion detection part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, we even tried to roll our own matrix server, and we failed miserably, by the way. So don't feel bad if, if you didn't succeed. Um, <laughs> so we used the matrix.org website, because that's the only thing we could manage to make work. But the client, actually, we, we managed to make it work in the Node.js application. So. Well done, everyone. Well done. Cheers. Cool. Thank you.